In the Stadio Olimpico, Felix Sanchez, it's quarterfinal day here in the 2020 CONCACAF Women's Under-20 Championship. And our first match here from Santo Domingo features the United States of America and Canada on this warm day from Santo Domingo, 85 degrees. And of course, the humidity is there with a little bit of breeze as well. But a beautiful day for some soccer. And we get down to the business end of this tournament as we take a look at the bracket. Winner of this game will play the winner of Jamaica and the Dominican Republic. Currently, the Dominican Republic, the host nation, winning in stoppage time against Jamaica. So that game just about to go final, but we're just about to get set here from Santo Domingo. It's the United States and it's Canada, and it's coming up shortly.
Well, we are just about ready to go from Santo Domingo. Josh Eastern back with you for this quarterfinal matchup between the United States and Canada. So let's take a look at the starting 11 for both sides. But we will start with Laura Harvey starting 11 for the United States. Naomi Germa will be the captain today. Five changes from the 6-0 win over St. Lucia over the weekend. And this is a strong side. Of course, Mia Fischel, eight goals so far in this tournament. She sits in second, pardon me now, third place after there was a goal scored by Jody Brown for Jamaica earlier on today. Here's a look at the Canadian side and of course the United States side, a photo opportunity for both teams. And a big matchup for both of these sides today, trying to make it to, of course, the semifinals, which would then give them an opportunity to qualify for the World Cup. As we take a look at the referees today, in the middle will be Melissa Borjas Pastrana, as the two captains meet here at midfield. Naomi Germa is the captain for the United States, Samantha Chang for Canada. So let's take a look at their lineup for coach Ryan Wilkinson. Four changes from their 6 0 win over Cuba this weekend. Tanya Boychuk, the player to watch for Canada in the attack. She has four goals, while Jade Rose has been anchoring that back line all tournament long for this Canadian side as they look to try to advance past the United States here this afternoon. So just about ready to go. But before we do that, let's take a look at the substitutes for both sides. Two very strong benches. And for the U.S., Summer Yates is there with four goals she has in this tournament. We haven't seen Sophia Smith. We wonder if we'll see her today. And plenty of experience with Emma Regan, Maya Jones, and Maya Lanhani on the bench for Canada. So two of the stronger sides here in CONCACAF. And they meet here in the quarterfinals. Maybe a little bit of a shock for both sides as they would have thought maybe one more round they could have met in in the semifinals. But alas, the matchup comes today and I'm sure both teams fired up and ready for this one. So the United States in their all white kits. And of course Canada in their all red kits. And we are just about set to go now, waiting for the top of the hour from Santo Domingo. It is match day number nine, already one quarterfinal in the books, and it was the Dominican Republic, the host nation, taking down Jamaica, the group winners from Group E. So the winner of this match will play the Dominican Republic on Friday right here in Santo Domingo. We know the hosts will be fired up for that with a World Cup bid on the line. But today, it's all about these 90 minutes and maybe more if we need it. There's the whistle, it's Canada and the United States and it's underway from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. Canada going right to left, the United States going left to right. Well, so far in this tournament, it's been a dominant performance for the United States. They have yet to concede a goal. They're the only team yet to concede in this competition. They've had 10 different players score, and they have really blown out teams. 9-0 versus Cuba, 4-0 against the Dominican Republic, 11-0 versus Honduras, and then 6-0 against St. Lucia. And as for Canada, they kind of struggled out of the gate as we take a look at Laura Harvey and her first Really big tournament for the United States. I'm trying to lead them to the World Cup once again. We'll get into Canada here in just a moment after the United States throw in. Here in the attacking third already. A low cross played in. And now cleared away. Germa will try to keep it in. Another ball lofted in towards the penalty spot. I'm trying to chase. This one down will be Trinity Rodman here on the near touchline. Trying to play it back for Rodman. She can keep it in, but she can't. So as for Canada, they struggled a little bit in Group E. There's coach Ryan Wilkinson. Maybe hasn't seen the best out of her team yet, but the win against Cuba was definitely a good performance. 6-0 in the round of 16. But in the group stage, it started off with a 2-0 win over El Salvador. He thought, okay, only two goals, but Still a good start to get those three points. And then a nil-nil match against Guatemala 
And you thought, man, this Canada team, you thought they'd be the favorites in this group, but they're struggling just a little bit. And then they face Jamaica, and it's a 3-1 loss to Jamaica to end the group stage, which is why they finished in second place. And it's why these two teams meet here today. If both of the teams had won their respective groups, they would have met in the semifinals, and it would have been with a World Cup bid on the line. So the stakes may be a little bit different here today, but the matchup just as important, I'm sure, to both of these players. Jade Rose going up against my official. Mia official in this competition, eight goals, now third most in the competition as the header comes on, looking for Rodman, and this one will trickle out for a goal kick. Maybe a little bit extra motivation for Canada today. They did not make it into the 2018 World Cup. They lost to Haiti in the third place game in 2018 during that competition in Trinidad and Tobago. They haven't been in a couple of cycles and they're hoping that they can return, but that would mean getting a win here today and maybe a little bit of an upset over a United States team that has been in fine form in this tournament. A touch for Anna Karpenko in goal today out of Richmond Hill, Ontario. Usually when these two teams face off, so much on the line as there is here today. But all of the previous five matchups have come in, in finals. They have never met outside of the championship match. As it's taken away by Brianna Pinto and she looks upfield. The United States holding a 3-2 record over Canada so far in their previous five matchups. As Boychuk gets time on the ball. Now here's Kazanjian. There's room over here on the left. Novak was calling for it. Couldn't quite get there in time. And it's taken away by Rodman. You can already see the intensity between these two teams early on. A lot of energy. These opening 15 minutes can set the stage for a pretty exciting match, but we'll see. We can get out on the front foot early on, and so far the United States putting a little bit more pressure, it seems, on this Canadian side. Here's Rodman. Cross deflected there by Chang, wearing the captain's armband today for Canada. And Kayla Novak will carry it out now for the Canadians. Boychuk for Novak. Back in the middle for Kazanjian. Novak again. Played into the middle. Boychuk looking to hold play up. Kazanjian following up now. The top of the box, the shot. And out of play, but Canada a little bit more positive there in their buildup. Working into this United States midfield and trying to get into that attacking third. Today in goal today, Claudia Dickey. He's split time with Julia Dole. They've each started two matches in this competition, but Claudia Dickey, the Charlotte, North Carolina native, getting the upper hand here today in this quarterfinal matchup. Here's Boychuk. She can't quite keep her feet. Now the United States looks to come forward again. Pinto couldn't quite collect it. And won back here by Canada. And who will have the upper hand in this game? So far, both sides. 
sharing the possession in the opening seven or so minutes. Jade Rose feeling some pressure there from the official. And it's intercepted. Here comes Caitlin Shaw. Now Boychuk. Will fall for Kazanjian. Novak. Defended there by Emily Mason. And now the offside flag comes up. It's Anderson Williams slipping into an offside position. One of a couple 17-year-olds for this Canadian side. And we take a look at it there. It looked like just a little bit too early. Now ahead of Naomi Germa. Jade Rose, the other 17-year-old, number five in red today. It's official dispossessed by Jade Rose. She's been such a good player in central defense as Boychuk will look to run under this one. It is cut off by Shea Holmes. And all she can do is knock it out for a Canadian throw-in. Back here by the United States. And a big push in the back there by Jade Rose as Fischl came to possess that ball. And Rose just letting her know that she's there and she will be all day. Pumping it forward all the way into the box. And Karpenko will take it on a bounce. The United States, they've qualified for all nine under 20 World Cups since 2002 at this level. They've won it three times. And it was the inaugural tournament in 02. They won it in 2008 and 2012 as well. Well, Canada, they have qualified for seven of those under 20 World Cups since 2002. You know, the runner up in that. 2002 competition to the United States. Of course, this is the first time in this competition's history that these teams have not met in a final. Thrown from Holmes. And have it run through for Rodman. Never quite got there. Nice swanger. She gets taken down, but play continues as Caitlin Shaw barreled into her. Miscommunication there on that left side. And the opening 10 minutes have expired. Still nothing to split these two teams. All of the five matchups. If the CONCACAF Women's Under-20 Championship between these two sides have been decided by one goal. And we'll see if that is the case yet again here today. You'd think the two favorites in this competition coming in. Mexico might have something to say about that, as well as Haiti. As those two teams could meet in the semifinals on Friday, Mexico and Haiti. But they both have to win their quarterfinal matchups first. Both those teams playing later on today. Mexico and Trinidad and Tobago will be the second game here from Santo Domingo. Haiti and Guyana will go at it just up the road in San Cristobal. Germa with the header. Whistle blows, the offside flag was up. This will go back to the United States. Oh, 
who will get that opening goal here today. It'll be so vital on the final outcome. Could really open things up as well. Here's Rodman. On the way to the end line. The cross coming in. Fischl was crashing in. Karpenko now has to go up and win a jump ball, and she does. Fischl came out of almost nowhere. And it was nearly the opening goal for the United States as that one bounced way up in the air, but Karpenko was able to come down with it. And now Novak will lose out. Rodman has her cross deflected right into the hands of Anna Karpenko again. Pinto loses her footing, but she's caught for the foul. Her and Caitlin Shaw collide. Austin over the top. An easy catch for Claudia Dickey on a hop. So a couple of opportunities for both teams so far. But nothing all that dangerous that would threaten really either goalkeeper. Shea Holmes has her pass cut off by Sonia Walk. Now Mia Fischel will track this down. Fischel back to her right foot, her shot's blocked. And Books was tracking back. She just knocked this out for the throw in. The United States attack, they can just shoot out of a cannon so quickly. Seems like it can come out of nowhere at times. To the end line again. It's brought down by Balata. As Boychuk goes down. Melissa Borjas Pastrana wants just a quick conversation. With Shea Holmes, Highlands Ranch, Colorado native. Plays her college soccer with the University of Washington in Seattle. <laughs> Chang switches the field. Here's Novak, couldn't quite keep her footing. Rodman now. And here she comes forward. Through ball, ahead for Fischl. It was Karpenko coming up to the top of the box to be brave to catch that one. The first quarter of an hour gone. And still no score. Caitlin Shaw can't keep that one in between the lines. Out for a United States throw in. This has been quite the battle so far in the midfield. Really difficult for Canada to get through. But the United States has been a little bit more fortunate to get into the attack. Another ball into the box and taken by Karpenko on a hop. Well, after the match against Cuba, that 6-0 win for Canada, Ryan Wilkinson saying, of course, it will be a big match against the United States, and we know they're a strong team, but she thinks her team is as well, and saying, I think we are only on the tip of the iceberg with how good this team can really be. We have been preparing for this match. And we can build on our form against Cuba. 
That was probably their best match. Their biggest margin of victory at 6-0. It was a really dominating performance. Started off in the seventh minute, Tanya Boychuk scoring a penalty. She had two goals in that match. Jasmine Wilkinson, who came off the bench, also had two goals within about a minute. She's on the bench again today for Canada. So we'll see what this Canadian side can do so far in the opening minutes. A good job in keeping the United States attack at bay as the offside flag comes up. Alexa Sponstra was leaking into an offside position. This ball immediately put out of play. Book strong challenge. The referee says play on. Kazanjian trying to find Novak. Rodman really making it difficult for anything to come down this left side. Kazanjian weaving through defenders. Trying to get ahead for Boychuk and it never found her. Now there's Duong. Trying to spring the attack down the left. And here comes the United States with Sponstra. Officials in the middle. Trying to switch the field for Rodman. But Novak was there to knock it away. And she'll get it right back. Now can Canada counter? Kayla Novak has to play it back for Jade Rose. The official there providing some pressure. And the ball went out. Here on the first touch, so a throw in for the United States. taking charge of this United States under 20 team after time. Of course, in the NWSL with the Rain FC, but more recently with Utah Royals. She was hired just before Olympic qualifiers for the full national team who start the She Believes Cup tomorrow against England, that first match in Orlando. But she spent some time in Houston, Laura Harvey did, with Blatko Andonofsky and her staff just trying to get a feel for this United States program and what really they want to make this going into the future. Of course, the Olympics have coming this summer. Of course, coming off the World Cup win in France, but just wanted to get to know U.S. soccer a little bit better, get the game plan. And of course, after the She Believes Cup and after this competition, They'll have some time to map things out, her and Vlatko Andonovsky, about what they want this whole thing to look like. The U.S. looking quite dangerous in this competition, but Canada looking to stop them. And here's Novak towards the top of the box. Kazanjian got a touch to it, still looking for the clearance, and it came from Emily Mason. Balata. Diana Pinto getting her foot in there. And the U.S. Able to look upfield. Fischl ahead for Sponstra. Options in the middle. Here's Pinto. She can shoot from this range. Now Fischl. Duong. And they rotate it around to Shea Holmes. A low cross coming in. It's off the crossbar. Pinto is there. And then her header goes wide. I'm not sure how that ball squeezed through. What a great opportunity for the United States right on the doorstep. A great look at it here. And that bounced straight down. Obviously no goal line technology, but that might have crossed the line. Of course, the whole ball has to go in. Really slim margins there. But Melissa Borjas Pastrana says no goal and play on. Well, that's the best opportunity for either side. And it was really good buildup from the United States. Pinto getting her foot in again. The U.S. not holding up. 
A low ball played in there looking for Rodman. And he's intercepted. Sorry, so hash mark. Back to hash mark. As you mentioned earlier, all of these matches have been decided by one goal. In the CONCACAF under 20 women's championship between these two teams, a big collision. And this foul will go against Canada, giving it back to the United States. Kennedy Wesley and mixing up with Tanya Boychuk. Seems like every time they show Wesley, she's a smile on her face. And she knew she got it there. And here's another look at that chance as it slowed down. I think it was just on that white line. Maybe a matter of centimeters there. I think a good call not to allow the goal. As it's knocked out for United States throwing midway through this first half. Still no score. But Brianna Pinto centimeters away from giving the United States the opening goal in this match. Yeah. It looks like the two center backs today for the United States, Naomi Germa along with Kennedy Wesley, the two Stanford teammates. Plenty of Stanford blood on this team, along with North Carolina. Of course, both those teams facing off in the College Cup final this year. Now Mason. Duong. Trying to play it forward for Rodman. Rodman, of course, committed to Washington State University and the daughter of the basketball player, Dennis Rodman, as well. And there's actually a bit of a Rodman pipeline now at Washington State. Her brother plays for the basketball team as well. Another look at that opportunity for the United States. This might be another good look at where the ball was. And it looked like just on that white line, as you saw, maybe a little bit of dirt kick up as we now have our hydration break here because of the warm weathers. So we'll Take this time to tell you, each time a girl joins football, the world takes a strike towards equality. If you empower a girl, you empower a community to fight for their dreams. Conky FW, we belong. So far, pretty good matchup between these two sides on this warm day from Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. Brianna Pinto, as we just saw moments ago, centimeters away from giving the United States the opening goal. It just wouldn't quite go past that white line all the way, and she's coming off a brace against St. Lucia just the other day, the 2019 Young Player of the Year, Brianna Pinto. Looks like just about set to get back underway after the hydration break. Still looking for that opening goal here today from Santo Domingo. Good chance for Emily Mason and Laura Harvey to have a quick conversation. And 
get back underway. And there was the whistle, and everybody stopped. And now play can continue here, but with the United States instead. Sponstra trying to get around Caitlin Books. Looks like the ball might have gone out of play. First, this tournament set up basically as a World Cup qualifier. So it will be the two teams who win the semifinal matchups who will advance on to the under 20 Women's World Cup later on this year in Costa Rica and Panama. That will get going in August. Official for Pinto, who's just a little bit behind her. Costa Rica and Panama getting those two automatic bids, which is why the format is a little bit different here this year. Pinto is fouled. It's Caitlin Shaw tracking back. And a free kick for the United States. Free kick here for the United States. And the first set piece for either side in this match. It's like nice swunger along with Duong. Stand over this. It will be Duong to send it in. And she'll play it wide here for nice swunger. Her cross coming in, and it wasn't really that dangerous in the end. And for Anna Karpenko, trying something off the training ground, and it didn't quite work out for the Americans. Both these teams with so much experience. 17 of these Canadian players have played for Canada in previous tournaments, including some who have actually been called up by the full national team. That includes Emma Regan, who actually isn't starting today, who has played a big part in this competition. Jay Holmes will send this towards the back post and out of play. Jade Rose has also been called up by the full national team, but has yet to be capped. For the United States, 15 of the 20 players are in college. Three play for youth teams, and there's just one pro on the team. She's actually yet to make her full pro debut for the Portland Thorns. That is Sophia Smith. She's yet to play in this competition as well. Shot coming on from Rodman right in the middle of the goal. And Anna Karpenko gets down to her knees to make the save. Through the first half hour, still looking for that opening goal. The United States has been a little bit more dangerous so far in the attack. Canada trying to break down this United States defense. It's not been easy, as they have yet to concede in this competition. Distributed this near side a little bit too tall for Emily Mason. Here's Shaw. Boychuk with playing with her back to goal. And she has not gotten too many touches here today, Tanya Boychuk. And right now is leading this team with four goals in this competition. And a misplay at the back, and Fischl able to latch onto it. Rodman making it run as well. Here's Trinity Rodman 
Cutting it back to her left, going for goal. It's pushed aside by Karpenko. Shot from the top of the box, it's off the crossbar. And the woodwork has now been rattled twice by the United States. That was Duong with the shot. Another look at it here, Rodman. Getting it back to her left foot. It was a good save by Karpenko, but she put it back in the danger area. She wasn't going to get up for that second attempt. Is it luckily for Canada, hit off the crossbar. There's Sonia Walk. Playing it for Novak. She knew she wasn't going to get there. And she laid off of that as Emily Mason collects it for the U.S. It's a heavy touch by Duong. She commits the foul, maybe just to slow things down there for Canada. This has been a physical matchup in the midfield. And they're talking to the Portland, Oregon native. Books. They get it into the box towards the penalty spot. It's still in there. They're now finally cleared. Chang got a touch to it. But nothing too dangerous comes out of it. But Canada's still here in the attacking third. Kazanjian. You see the white jerseys that just swarm around these Canadian attackers when they have the ball. Here's Mia Fischel. Trying to provide for this United States attack again. Onto her right foot. And a curling effort goes out of play. It took a slight deflection. And it's out for a corner kick. In the final 11 minutes or so before halftime. We wonder if things might start to pick up a little bit. The in-swinger from this near side corner. Punched away by Karpenko. Headed back into the middle, flicked along, and it's in. The opening goal for the United States here in the 35th minute. Let's go, Red! You got this! You got this! And this dangerous attack for the United States strikes again, this time off a set piece. Thumbs up from Laura Harvey. And the United States able to take a 1-0 advantage. Let's see who got the final touch on. It was Nyswanger who sent it in. It was headed on by Pinkso, and who else but Mia Fischel. Her ninth goal of this competition. And now she moves into a tie for second place in goal scoring. Here at the CONCACAF Women's Under-20 Championship. Nothing Shaw could do to keep it out. And the San Diego, California native, Mia Fischel. Continuing her goal scoring ways. Now has as many goals to match her number, number nine. Well, the U.S. is yet to concede. So could that be enough to get them over the line and into the semifinals? I'm sure Canada will have something to say about that. Now Boychuk. Her cross is taken by Claudia Dickey. Now Rodman. A burst of speed down the right. Flipping it in. And Karpenko able to take it just in front of Fischl. And she'll distribute quickly. Boychuk. For Novak, it's a little bit too slow in getting there, and Rodman, who is tracking back once again, wins it back for the U.S.
Now some pressure being shown at the back. Dickey just has to get rid of this one. Flicked along by Rodman. It's been quite impressive so far down this right flank. Who has also been quite impressive in this tournament for the United States. She has four assists so far to go along with four goals. Committed to Washington State after their College Cup run. And a really nice get there for the Cougars. We feel like she could be a big part of this women's national team program moving forward. Along with many of these players. We play at all of the top colleges and universities around the United States, along with some of these Canadian players as well. Things picked up for a moment after that goal, and now they seem to be slowing down again a little bit. Just how much pressure can you sustain? Or rather exert if you're Canada in this match, especially with the temperature. It's a warm day. I'm sure all three subs will be used by Ryan Wilkinson in this match. They have to go for this at some point. Here's Wesley. Now Germa, the captain for Mason. U.S. very consent, content to just knock this around. Ball played down the left, a good overlapping run there by Holmes. Rolled in towards the penalty spot. Balassa just knocks it out. And it's a corner kick for the U.S. And they scored on their first corner kick. We'll see what we get here on the second one. Caitlin Duong will swing this in for the U.S. So it looks like they prefer the in-swingers. Nice swanger earlier with her left foot from this near side. Duong from the other side. Plenty of options to pick out. Pinto was in there. It looked like she was trying for the little flick with the back of her head. Now Germa, an opportunity opening up for the U.S. Runs all the way through for Pinto. And the U.S. doubles its lead. 2-0 to the U.S. Brianna Pinto gets the goal. Her sixth goal of this competition is really on the recycle there, Germa. Played it through, Fischl maybe a little dummy there and nobody was there to defend Brianna Pinto. So after two goals against St. Lucia over the weekend, she comes back and gets at least one here today. It's the second goal for the US and it's 2-0 here with five minutes to go until halftime. And I feel like from a Canadian perspective, that is just absolutely killer. The goals haven't exactly been flowing in for Canada in this competition. A 6-0 win against Cuba was maybe a sign of potential things to come, but so far in this match, it has not played out that way. In the group stage, they scored just three. They also conceded three. Well, the U.S. has now scored plenty in this competition. They had 24 goals scored in the group stage. Had another six more against St. Lucia, so now up to 30. And then if you add today, 32 goals, and they've yet to concede.
deflection there on the clearance, but it falls for Pinto. Sponstra trying to chase this down, and she won't get there. So as things stand now, it's the United States. They would face off against the Dominican Republic. And that was a pretty good scoreline for the U.S. The first time those two teams played a 4-0 win for the U.S. The second match that both those teams played in Group C. And I feel like the Dominicans getting a second chance at the U.S. if that comes to be in about 45 minutes. The World Cup bid on the line. Trying to defend their home turf, a lot on the line in that match. The U.S. still has to get over the line here today. Sonia Walk for Novak. Mason there to knock it out. Zangian just tripped up. And now a free kick for Canada. An opportunity for them to put one into the box, potentially. It's about two minutes plus stoppage time until we get to halftime. Claudia Dickey directing traffic. Fischl and Rodman make up the two-player wall for the U.S. Chang and Kazanjian stand over this for Canada. Can they pull one back here before halftime? Chang steps over it. Kazanjian towards the back post. The header comes on. It took a slight deflection. And it's a corner kick for Canada. Good ball sent in there by Laura Kazanjian. We'll play at the University of Memphis joining a couple other, couple other Canadian teammates. Kazanjian sends it in once again. Jerma got up to head that away. Canada is still possessing this. Books for Boychuk. And now Kazanjian as we get into stoppage time here in the second half. Ball swung in. Once again, it's cleared away. Kazanjian trying to track this down, but Fischl gets there and just knocks it all the way downfield. minutes here before halftime as we're in the stoppage time. Rodman putting the pressure on Sonia Walk. Guys, get ready. And it's a throw in for the U.S. Oh, Ryan Wilkinson not pleased with that decision from head referee Melissa Borjas Pastrana. Maybe some frustration starting to set in here for Canada. As they know they are in a big hole right now. Here's Pinto. Now Sponstra. Jade Rose there to knock it out for another throw-in. The last attack for either side. Last one. And 
There is the final whistle of this first 45 minutes. It's 2-0 to the United States. And they have been fairly dominant through this opening 45 minutes. So 45 minutes down, 45 to go. It's the United States 2, and it's Canada 0. Highlights from this first 45 minutes from Santo Domingo between the United States and Canada. A lot on the line in this quarterfinal matchup between these two CONCACAF powers. Trying to get on to the Women's Under 20 World Cup later on this year. And in the early going, it was a bit of a stalemate between these two sides. The United States maybe a little bit more of the opportunities in this match. They would just start pumping balls into the box that Anna Karpenko would have to deal with. Here she was able to punch it up to herself and then make the catch. This was the best chance early on for the U.S. Brianna Pinto so close to putting the U.S. up 1-0 off the crossbar straight down. As you can see, it was just on the white line. 
but it stayed out for the U.S. And then a few minutes later, Trinity Rodman getting an opportunity. Her first shot blocked away. Then it fell for Duong at the top of the box, hitting the crossbar once again. And the U.S. would keep up their opportunities in this match. Rodman has been so good down this right side for the U.S., really creating a lot and causing some havoc for this Canadian defense as well. But here was the first goal. The corner kick was punched away. Pinto then heads it back in. The official just able to get a touch onto it and direct it into the back of the net. And that was the first goal for the U.S. in the 35th minute, her ninth goal of this competition. And it could not have come at a better time. This was the second goal. Germa has a run through for Pinto. She's there to finish. As Mia Fischel lets it run under her legs. And that made it 2-0. That coming in the 41st minute. And that is where we stand here at halftime. It's 2-0 to the U.S., just 45 minutes away from a semi-final appearance. As we take a look at the first half stats, the U.S. with the possession advantage along with the shots. And they have the upper hand through the first 45 minutes. They're just 45 minutes away from the, the semifinals. But can Canada mount a comeback? The second half coming up shortly here from Santo Domingo.
Back here in Santo Domingo, getting set for the second half of this quarterfinal matchup in this 2020 CONCACAF Women's Under-20 Championship. Josh Eastern back with you. The United States with a 2-0 advantage over Canada. And they are just 45 minutes away from a trip to the semifinals in this competition. That would mean just one more win to get into the World Cup if they can get this one done here today. And Laura Harvey's Americans looking pretty good. And it looks like Rian Wilkinson will make a couple of alterations here going into the second half. The only Porcelans will be one of them. While the other will be Emma Regan. So two very experienced players. Regan, who, is, who plays her soccer for the University of Texas, earned her first full cap for the national team against Cuba in 2018. And Kayla Novak will be one of the players who comes off. And the other player, Wayne Balata. So Balata and Novak off, Regan and Portalans on here to start this second half as we're underway. The teams will switch ends, of course. The U.S. now going right to left, Canada left to right. So two early subs here. As we start this second half for Canada, of course, the do or die scenario for them. Yeah, either they score two goals and get this to extra time, or that would be that. Play to this near side now, it's Shea Holmes. On the play for a goal kick. Well, it was the U.S. striking first in the 35th minute, Mia Fischel, then in the 41st minute, Brianna Pinto. It was Pinto in that first half who nearly scored earlier than that as she had a shot come off the crossbar, go straight down. It hit the line, didn't go all the way past that white line, so of course no goal given. And she eventually got her goal later on in that second half. Laura Harvey now just trying to see this match out. They've looked dangerous for a few more goals. And we'll see if they can hold their shutout streak up until this point. Pinto. Now here's Fischl. Keeps it in play for Sponstra. This one is played into an offside position. And Rian Wilkinson. They are really in an uphill battle right now. The two substitutes made at halftime to try to enhance their chances to get back into this game. We'll see how that plays out here in the second 45 minutes. And it's Portalans who is down. So it's a free kick for Canada. Can they make this payoff here early on in this second half? It's really can Canada muster up a few more opportunities than they got in that first 45 minutes. They get a foothold in this match and try to at least pull one back to make things interesting. This ball is played towards the top of the 18-yard box. Headed back in. Still hasn't been cleared all the way. And the whistle blows. This will go against Canada. Looks like a handball. It's exactly what Melissa Borjas Pastrana had called for. Here's Germa. Bringing it forward for the U.S. 
Mia official for Duong. She gets it right back. Mia official already with the goal today. And Jade Rose, really well done to win that throw in for Canada, and she moves quickly. It's taken away. Duong. Now Rodman trying to turn the corner all the way to the end line. Comes through it, took a deflection off of Rose. She puts this one out for a throw in. Now Kennedy Wesley. And of course the United States very content to take some time on the ball. It's been very difficult for Canada to play through their midfield all day today. As Pinto's there to win it right back in the middle. Duong, playing it wide for Shea Holmes. Now nice Swanger for Fischl. Playing it forward for Duong. Took a few deflections there, and Rose has to put this one out again. Well, you wonder the avenues that Canada could use to try to get back into this match. Now Sponstra for nice Swanger. She'll tee one up. And no threat to Anna Karpenko in goal. Well, if you go back to 2018 in this competition, it was the United States beating Haiti in penalty kicks to advance to the World Cup in the semis, but they lost out to Mexico in PKs in the final. So right now we still could see a Mexico versus United States final. Should both teams keep winning to get there? It'll be Mexico taking on Trinidad and Tobago after this match here in Santo Domingo. Well, Haiti is taking on Guyana right now. That game going on in San Cristobal. Rodman. Another cross coming all the way through. And Regan was alert to it to knock it out of the path there of Alexis Ponstra. Here's Germa. Now for Wesley. Wesley's also played some left back in this competition for the U.S. Against the Dominican Republic, that's where she started. Showing her versatility today as the U.S. give it right back to Canada here throwing. Canada trying to find any sort of avenue back into this match. And the U.S., of course, not making it easy. To the end line. Deflected cross, and it's out for a corner kick now for the U.S. And it looks like this will be the tournament debut for Sophia Smith. The Stanford player who was drafted first overall in the NWSL draft by the Portland Thorns. She will come on here in just a moment. It looks like they'll take the corner kick first. The ball swung in right in front of goal, and it's in for the U.S. Goal number three. And it looks like it was Kennedy Wesley crashing in to head that beyond Karpenko. 
And you have to feel like the United States in really good hands now with a 3-0 advantage. Here's another look at it. it. Looks like Wesley did get a touch on that to just nod it by the goalkeeper. And here is Sophia Smith now coming on for the United States. And it will be Duong who comes off. So she gets an assist and she comes off as Sophia Smith makes her tournament debut. A really big talent for the United States. And for Kennedy Wesley, that is her first goal for the under 20s in her career. So Sophia Smith who will play this year for the Portland Thorns, 27 appearances and 23 goals for the under 20s. She was the 2017 U.S. Young Player of the Year from Highlands Ranch, Colorado. And it's the first sub for the United States. Ball played all the way through and out. And according to Meg Linehan of The Athletic, she checked in with the PR department for the U.S. Women's National Team under 20s here. If we take another look at the goal, and she asked about Sophia Smith and why she hadn't played up until this point. And the answer was basically load management and trying to ensure that she stays healthy across a tight run of games. Obviously, so many games have been played already in this competition for the U.S. with not a whole lot of rest in between. But just trying to ensure she stays healthy. And she was also on the men from a minor injury as well. So just trying to get back into playing shape here and not wanting to overuse her. But you wonder if we'll see her in the starting lineup come Friday and the semifinal, which is really the all important match of this tournament, as that is the ultimate World Cup qualifier. You win that and you're in. Like it was friendly fire between Mason and Nyswanger, but Kazanjian also there as she commits the foul. As we get the final sub of the match for Canada, it comes here in the 57th minute. It's Jasmine Wilkinson coming on, it's Anderson Williams going off. So already, Rian Wilkinson has used all three of her substitutes, and it's all hands on deck. Now the United States with Trinity Rodman to the end line. The cross, did it take a deflection? It did, and it's out for, looks like another corner kick. Novak, Williams, and Palata, who are all out for Canada. Wilkinson, Regan, and Portalance all in for this final 35 minutes. Ball sent in on the corner kick. Karpenko got a slight touch to it. Sophia Smith was there on the follow-up. She had her shot blocked, and the shot from way outside the box from Shea Holmes is skied over the bar. Flicks along, trying to nod it into the path here of Wilkinson. A good job by Shea Holmes tracking back. The attack still on here for Canada through Samantha Chang. Now Boychuk, back for Books. Here's Chang again. And Boychuk taken down by Pinto and a free kick for Canada. Well, for the U.S., it's not something you want to do here in the final half hours. Give up three kicks in the attacking third. Pinto just trying to be aggressive and play for the ball, but it's Melissa Borjas Pastrana who thought it was just a little bit too much.
as Angie and Regan stand over it. Two player wall for the US guarding that near post. And Claudia Dickey ready to defend this free kick. Be Kazanjian playing it short to the end line for Regan. Didn't quite work out there for Canada, trying to just be a little bit too fancy. And it doesn't work in their favor. So Regan Wilkinson on this Canadian side trying to find a way back. But a three goal deficit to a United States side that is yet to concede. So as difficult a mountain as you can climb. So coming into this match, 10 players had scored for the US. We'll make that 11 now as Kennedy Wesley can add her name to that list. A long switch of play now for Portalantz. Deflects off the corner flag and it deflected off of Portalon's last, so it's a goal kick for Claudia Dickey. And Brianna Pinto and Sophia Smith, they are two players on this team trying to qualify for their second under 20 World Cup. They were on the team in 2018. Trying to do it again here. Well, Emily Mason, Talia Della Peruta, along with Trinity Rodman will all be eligible, age eligible at least, for the 2022 Under 20 World Cup. So a good mix of experience along with new young blood on this American team. And you feel like they'll be a dangerous out wherever they play. Smith is taken down. Just a slight push in the back there by Kaylee Box. Book stepping up again. It's played through for Smith. Her first real time on the ball in this match. Smith to the end line, cross coming through. Nice swunger. Goes down, but the referee says it was all ball and play continues. But that's just that little burst of quality from Sophia Smith. It'll be really intriguing to see what she can do in a rookie season with the Portland Thorns. She now has a new teammate as well, with Becky Sauerbrunn being traded to Portland. The only pro on this team for the U.S., Sophia Smith. Kazanjian able to come right up the heart of that midfield. All played into the box, nobody there. And Claudia Dickey able to keep this one in play. But she'll wait for a Canadian player to come up before she grabs this. Flipped along, Fischl trying to track it down against Jade Rose. Play back for Karpenko. And knock down field. It's 3-0 to the U.S. just past the hour mark. Here's Smith again. Immediately double team. Now her cross comes in. Is Angie and able to pick it up for Canada? Play down the left for Boychuk. Germa using a little burst of speed to win it back, and she's fouled by Boychuk.
So Mia Fischel with a goal today in the 35th minute, her ninth goal. And right now, she still trails Melchie Dumournay, who has 10 for Haiti. And that game going on right now. And there's 1-0 to Haiti in that match. And it was Melchi Tumorne who did score that goal for Haiti. So right now it is Mia Fischel who is two goals behind her in the Golden Boot race. But Mia Fischel trying to join some pretty serious company to win the Golden Boot, at least in American history in this competition. The ball sent forward for Sophia Smith. Collecting all the way to that right, si er, right side and Rose can't quite keep it in play. But if Fischl is able to bring home the golden boot, she joined Kelly O'Hara, Sydney LaRue, and Mallory Pugh, who took home the golden boot in 2008, 2010, and 2015, respectively. Here's Fischl. It's out for a goal kick. 25 minutes to go. Can Canada get back in this match? Smallest margin of victory in this competition for the U.S. Game against the Dominican Republic, who they will play if they win this match. That was 4-0. Everything else has been 6-0 or greater. Here's Books. A little bit behind Boychuk. And that little bit ended the threat in the end. Rodman. Bring it behind Sponstra. But Sponstra comes out of nowhere and wins it back for the U.S. Smith and Fischl ahead. Over for Fischl, going for goal, and there's goal number four. Well, the U.S. really turning it on here in the second half. Mia Fischl with a brace here in the 67th minute. And you feel like that's enough to put them through to the, to the semifinals. She was able to stay on side. Karpenko had no choice but to come off her line. And it's Mia Fischel who now gets goal number 10 in this competition in the double figures. What a moment there for Mia Fischel. And a sub coming on at Sierra Eng. Eng is in. And the United States now just 23 minutes away from getting into the semifinals. And you wonder who is going to give this U.S. team a good fight. It's Trinity Rodman. Pulled from behind. And a yellow card will be issued. There to Leonie Portalot. So she has her name taken in the 68th minute. Wesley for Eng, and she gives it away, her first touch. Boy Chuck, and Eng was able to track back to win it for the U.S. The threat's still on here from Canada, and now here's Eng again. Another Stanford Cardinal on this roster, trying to play it wide for Fischl. It just wouldn't quite happen. And it was Sponstra who was the one taken off for the U.S. So Eng on for Sponstra. Now Books. Fischl wins it back again. 
But the willingness to track back in defense by these United States wingers is really, really impressive stuff. We saw it from Trinity Rodman in the first half. We're seeing it a little bit now from Mia Fischel as well. Germa tripped up by Wilkinson. Trying to play it wide for Rodman. Now nice swanger. Once again fouled by Wilkinson. Now two fouls for her in a matter of about a minute. And just a push in the back there from Wilkinson. An easy call from the referee. And it looks like this will be our Second half hydration break. So we'll tell you, football knows no gender. Football knows tenacity. This is your open invitation to get off the sidelines and get in the conversation. CONCACAF W, we belong. It's been all United States here in this match. Laura Harvey has to be pleased with how her team has played. As long as they close this one out, they'd just be one more win away from another trip to the under-20 World Cup. A competition they have not missed since 2002. On the other side for Rian Wilkinson. Just trying to play these last 20 minutes with some heart and trying to go out playing their best, but today they ran into a really good United States side. Crazier things have happened. We'll see how these last 20 minutes play out, but you'd expect the United States to be able to see this one out. There's another look at the first goal for the U.S. Pinto heading it back in. Fischl getting the touch to just get it by Karpenko. That came in the 35th minute. She also tacked on another goal in the 67th minute. Brianna Pinto and Kennedy Wesley also scoring two goals in the 41st and 54th minute. So under 20 minutes to go. Melissa Borjas Pastrana will put this back in play. Remember one more match coming up here today from Santo Domingo will be Mexico against Trinidad and Tobago. There's Mexico getting a huge win just a few days ago. In their round of 16 match, a 12-1 win against Grenada. As Pinto will put this back in play. Into the box again, Fischl heading it on and out of play. Rodman was brave to go to the air there as she got pushed down. Canada find at least a consolation goal. There's Kaylee Books. Ahead for Wilkinson. And a little push in the back there for Wesley as the ball goes out of play. And she turns to the AR and motions. A little push in the back, and Wilkinson has committed a few fouls here in the past few moments. And it looks like before the goal kick, it will be a substitution. Mia Fischel will come off in a really good afternoon for the United States, number nine. 
Two goals for her. She's now up to 10 goals in the competition. And it will be Rebecca Jarrett to come on. Here in the 75th minute, the third and final sub for Laura Harvey. The Clifton, New Jersey native, one goal in this competition so far for the U.S. That's her lone goal for the U-20s. Sophia Smith, Sierra Enge, and Rebecca Jarrett, the three subs for the Americans today as they look to see out this final 15 minutes. Switch of play looking for Shea Holmes. Now she can bring it forward. Wilkinson from behind. Now Pinto. Oh, pardon me, that's Smith. Wide for Pinto. And now out for a throw in. Been a dominating performance from the United States so far. It's 76 minutes. And it has them just 14 minutes plus stoppage time away from a trip to the semifinals in this 2020 CONCACAF Women's Under 20 Championship. And you thought if any team could stop the U.S., it might be Canada. They've only faced off in finals in this competition and every match, that's five previous matches, have been decided by one goal. So unless Canada can come up with three here in the next 14 minutes, that streak is about to come to a close. And the U.S. will also earn its fourth win in six matches against Canada. Here's Smith. Able to get by Jade Rose. Sophia Smith going for goal. And an easy save for Anna Karpenko. Wesley able to find Holmes playing through some Canadian pressure. And out for a throw in. Long throw in. This one I don't think ever got in play. So Canada now will get to throw it back in. Here's Emma Regan. Wilkinson, it was Boychuk fouling Wesley there before that. And a yellow card issue to Tanya Boychuk. Pretty heavy fall there by Kennedy Wesley. Trying to get back to her feet. Of course, the U.S. has used all three of their substitutions, so they would have to go down a man for the last 11 minutes if she cannot continue. The Rossmore, California native, Kennedy Wesley. She was named to the all Pac-12 freshman team. Started 13 of the final 14 matches for the Cardinal. Holding that right shoulder, it looks like.
see if she can continue here today. Of course, she'll try to give it a go if possible as both teams get another hydration break in the meantime. Looks like she's going to come back on when play gets back underway. And it looks like Wesley now coming back on. Here with 10 minutes to go. We'll see how. She's able to carry on as this match comes to a conclusion. Facing some pressure. Here's Mason. Back for Germa. Now Rebecca Jarrett, one of the second half substitutes, comes on. Sophia Smith was there in the middle. Pinto will keep this alive for the U.S. Cross coming in, blocked away by Jade Rose. Sophia Smith came up with it and her shot. Not too dangerous there for Anna Karpenko. Now Jarrett. Well, Canada, they've qualified for seven under 20 World Cups since 2002. But it's looking like they're going to miss out on two straight. We were so close a couple of years ago in 2018. They lost to Haiti in the third place game. That gave Haiti their first ever appearance in the Under-20 World Cup. And it looks like Canada going to come up just a little bit short once again here in 2020. Sophia Smith trying to find an angle to shoot, going for goal and just missing wide. Boy, on the turn, looked like she had kind of sized it up there and not able to put it on frame. Wasn't too far off in the end. Put back into play by Karpenko. This one, it looks like a run out of play. Throw in for the United States as they are content to keep taking their time. Maybe starting to set in there for Rian Wilkinson. Pressure there from Rodman as Regan having to play out of a tough area. Sophia Smith able to get it loose here for Rodman. And then Jade Rose is able to get back and clear it away. The U.S. not letting up here even with a 4-0 advantage. Still about six minutes plus stoppage time left to go. As Jarrett was pushed from behind. A foul from Kaylee Books.
Well, the United States, they've won a record five CONCACAF titles since their first. It came in 2006. They've won four of the last five. They're hoping to make that five of the last six. If they can get it done this year after coming up just a little bit short in 2018, losing in penalty kicks to Mexico in the final. As we said in the first half, that rematch is still possible with Mexico playing later on today. Right after this, here in Santo Domingo against Trinidad and Tobago. Smith playing it down the line for Jarrett. Early ball in for Rodman. She couldn't quite wrap her left foot around it. Really good build up though once again by the United States and Rodman's had a pretty busy day running up and down this left flank. Bit of a smile as she gets back to her feet. Just couldn't get there in time. It looks like an injured player here for Canada. Leone Portalans. Portalance comes off and you wonder if that'll be the end of the day for her, which means Canada down to 10 players for the last few minutes of this one. Both teams used up their three subs fairly early on, especially Canada. Two halftime subs, Portalance was one of them along with Emma Regan. Jasmine Wilkinson came on about 12 minutes later. Tried to mount that comeback, but the U.S. quickly put that to rest. Kennedy Wesley in the 54th minute made it 3-0. Then it was Mia Fischel to get a brace on the day, scoring one in the 67th minute. Eng back for Germa. Mason will now play it back for Claudia Dickey. Here's Sophia Smith. Still Smith, cutting back to her right. Now back to her left, trying to find an angle to shoot. Her shot was deflected there by Sonia Walk. We'll look ahead just a little bit. The United States and the Dominican Republic coming up on Friday. This ball played back for Claudia Dickey. And the U.S. in that game, they came out fast and furious. In the third minute, Mia Fischel. In the eighth minute, Rebecca Jarrett. And then in the twelfth minute, Mia Fischel had a brace. And then they added on one more through Brianna Pinto in the 65th minute. Kennedy Wesley maybe still feeling the effects of that upper body injury she suffered just a little bit ago. She's able to carry on for the U.S. So the Dominican Republic, it'll be a tough out. Getting a big win today over Jamaica. Really the first upset of this competition. It's always been the favorite just based on group stage seating. But Jamaica was not able to Pulled their end of the bargain. As Karpenko has to come out. Boy, she made a little bit of a mess of this. Able to avoid complete disaster there. Here's Trinity Rodman bringing it forward again. And her effort sails out of play as we're into the 90th minute. all come down to Friday for the U.S. Win and you go to the World Cup, lose and you don't. 
There's no opportunity to get in through the third place game like there has in past years with Costa Rica and Panama getting two automatic bids. U.S. not done quite yet. Rodman chests it down to her left foot. And Emma Regan just getting a touch in there to win it back. And we'll see how much second half stoppage time we get here in just a sec. So in the stoppage time here, the U.S. just moments away from advancing on to the semifinals. Very deserved win here today against a Canadian side that just couldn't quite match them for quality. U.S. really good in front of goal. Their back line has held strong as well. They've yet to concede in this competition. They've now scored 34 goals without conceding once. And this one was flicked along by Sophia Smith and right into the face of the Canadian player. And she is down on the grass. Right at the end of this one. Like it was Regan. She wore that right in the face. It was not going to feel good. And of course, the heightened awareness for head injuries, so the referee blowing that dead right away. Look at the U.S. goals. That was the first one from Mia Fischel. Here was the second from Brianna Pinto, that one in the 41st minute. Kennedy Wesley getting in on the goal scoring action in the 54th minute. Sponstra able to lay it off for Fischl, who made it 4-0 there in the 67th. And this match just about at its conclusion. It looks like we're ready to play on. Regan looks like she is about to come back on for the final few seconds of this one. Penko plays it downfield, headed away by Germa. Now Jarrett. She's taken off the ball. Penko will knock this long again. One last sprint here for Germa. Thorough beat down today for the U.S. A really good performance from them. They have looked so strong in this competition. We expected it again here today. Be careful, be careful. As Claudia Dickey will get this back into play. This is a tough exit for Rian Wilkinson. We all expected this matchup in the semifinals, but Canada didn't win their group, and that's why it happened here in the quarterfinals. And there's the final whistle. The United States on to the semifinals. And now just one win away for qualifying for their 10th under 20 Women's World Cup. They'll have to get by the Dominican Republic. That match comes up on Friday. So that's going to do it here from Santo Domingo for game one. It finishes the United States four and Canada nil.
highlights from this match between the United States and Canada. And it was a dominant performance for the Americans today, taking down their Canadian rivals. With the spot in the semifinals up for grabs, it was the United States that was able to capture the win. And really right from the opening whistles, the United States out on the front foot in this match. There'd be some opportunities early on for the US. Anna Karpenko though was able to make a couple of saves to keep Canada in it early on. And this was the best chance of the first half that didn't go in. Brianna Pinto off the crossbar straight down on the line. No goal. And it would stay nil-nil just a little bit longer. And then it would be the moment for the United States. Well, not here, but more opportunities would come for the Americans. This one ringing the crossbar once again. That was Caitlin Duong. Who rattled that one off the crossbar. And Trinity Rodman, a really good match for her as well. She added on to her assist total in this match. She had four coming in, but here was the opening goal. Brianna Pinto keeps it alive. Mia Fischel, right place, right time. Just gets a touch on it. And boy, does she have a nose for goal. She now has 10 in this competition. This was her ninth goal. She would have one later on in this match. Then a little bit later, Germa would play it through. Fischel would play dummy. And Pinto would be there to just slot it past Karpenko, who was not quick enough to get across her line. That made it 2-0 to the U.S. going into halftime. A good finish there for Pinto. And the U.S. was looking good at that point. They had yet to concede in this competition and it didn't feel like it was going to happen today. Kennedy Wesley, then she would add a goal in the 54th minute. A big goal for her. And that made it 3-0 to the Americans. And then Mia Fischel making it a fourth goal for the U.S. coming in the 67th minute. Now up to 10 goals in the competition. And her and Melshi Dumernay of Haiti are right up there, one and two for the Golden Boot. So that made it 4-0. The United States able to book a spot in the semifinals where they will face the Dominican Republic. A dominating performance for the U.S. today as they move on to the semi. So that's going to do it for game one for our entire crew. I'm Josh Eastern.